what is an armstrong number if the sum of the cubes of digits of a number is equal to the main number that number is known as armstrong number such as 153 means there are three digit in 153 1 5 and 3 if you do the cube of these numbers like 1 cube 5 cube and 3 cube and when you add all the cubes of this you will get again the same number that is 153 so these kind of numbers are called armstrong number okay so hello and welcome to knowledge circle students today we are going to learn a program where we will accept a number from user and we will check whether the number is armstrong or not so let's start let's see the code so let's open notepad as you can see that we have copied some lines okay let's give a class name the class name we are going to give here armstrong because we are making a program based on armstrong then after we need to declare the variables the number of variables how many variables we require that we have to mention here okay for accepting the input from user that is n the next variable is s that we we will declare for storing the sum the initial value of s we will give 0 we need another variable that is used for storing the remainder after doing the modulus operation so we will have three variables basically here that is n s and r okay so now we are going to give a message to user that enter the number okay when the user sees the message user will give a value that value we will accept through next int function and we will store it into the variable n okay then after what we are going to do we will declare another temporary variable to keep the value of n same okay means what we have got from user as input that we will keep somewhere safe that will be used later on okay so we will declare a variable here int temp and we will keep the value of n into temp now let's compare let's use while loop the condition of the while loop is when n is greater than 0 now we will module the number n by 10 and whatever the remainder comes that we will store in r with the help of the remainder we get the unit digit of the number okay and we will make the cube of that number and that will be stored in the variable s s is used to store the sum so we will use pow function of the maths class of the lang package to calculate the cube as you can see that we have written math dot pow r r is what the remainder and 3 is what the power the base and the power next time after this what we have to do we have to uh, divide the number by 10 okay n will be divided by 10 and again the division will be stored in the quotient will be stored in the n itself we have to follow this process and at the end we will get the all the digits the sum of all the digits of their cube we will get okay now then what we have to do when we get that value we have to compare that that what we have kept in temp we have kept the number n so we will compare the temp with s what is s s is the sum of the cube of all digits of the given number and if the sum and the temp that is the number n if both are equal then this will be called as an armstrong number if this condition is not true if the sum which we have calculated by getting all the digits then this number is not an armstrong number so let's write the message by using the system dot out dot println function okay and after writing the message we have to close it okay so first we are giving a message for if block then we will give the message for else block what we have to do what is the change in both messages the change is the in first we have to write that it is an arm arm strong number and in second we have to write that it's not an arm strong number after mentioning these two statements we have to close the class and then we have to we have to close the main function and then we have to close the class okay and then we will go to file and save option 
so let's put the curly braces the closing curly braces and then we will go to file and save option the save as file dialog box open let's write the file name armstrong.java and in the save as type option we have to click on all files after that let's click on save button and as you can see that the program is saved now it's time to execute the program for the execution of the program we will open what we will open cmd command prompt now let's open f drive in cmd we are in f drive now let's open the directory where the program is saved let's type cd space the folder name that is java program okay cd space java program now we are in the folder java program let's compile the program let's type java c space the program name is armstrong so we will write armstrong.java okay the program is successfully compiled now it's time to execute the program let's write java give a space type the program name and the program will be executed okay the program is successfully executed now the message is on screen that enter the number so we will enter the number and when when we enter the number we will see whether the number is armstrong or not okay so let's do that enter the number i am entering 153 when i enter 153 what i see the number is armstrong let's type here 230 okay there is an error let's execute it once more and let's see that java armstrong press enter key now enter the number let's type here 458 the number is not armstrong once more let's execute and let's give a value let's use cls command let's clear the screen java space armstrong press enter key then after enter the number the, the number i'm going to enter here is 371 you can see that 371 is what it's an armstrong number so this is what a program based on armstrong number like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification